For this week's Challenge Wednesday, we have Stanley, and Stanley was recently referred to physical therapy for a muscle strain after a lifting incident at the office. The patient is able to perform all exercises with minimal difficulty, but often states, I know I'll get injured again when I go back to work. This behavior should be so let's take a look at our answer choices. We have A, documented as a red flag. B, documented as a yellow flag. C, documented as a blue flag. And D is documented as a orange flag. All right. So let's go up to the top of this question. If you didn't pick up on this, I try to I try to throw a little joke in there. Do you all know The Office? Anybody watch a little Netflix at time and time again? You know, hey, Stanley at the office, I try to throw that into you. Just a little joke, just a little joke. Okay, let's go up to the top of this question. Obviously, we're talking a little bit about the flag system, right? Let's go ahead and knock it down. It says Stanley was recently referred to physical therapy for a muscle strain after a lifting accident at the office. Completely straightforward here. Muscle strain, don't really know where that is, right? You may say like, well, I'm I'm assuming, ooh, bad move, all right? Let's not assume anything. It does say lifting incident, patient has a muscle strain, that's all we're given right now. Cool. All right, let's move down to our next sentence. It says, the patient is able to perform all exercises with minimal difficulty. So patient has a muscle strain right now, in therapy, minimal difficulty with exercises. Okay. Now it says, but often states, so the patient often states, I know I'll get injured again when I go back to work. Have you ever heard that? Possibly on rotations, on your internship, maybe one of your patients was saying things like, ah, I know I'm going to get injured again if I go back to work or when I go back to work, right? Um, the last sentence of this question says, this behavior should be documented as... And then for those of you on the podcast right now, let me go through the answer choice again. We got A, documented as a red flag. B, is documented as a yellow flag. C, documented as a blue flag. D, is documented as an orange flag. So which one is it? We got a straightforward case here. Muscle strain, patients doing the exercises in the, in the, the PT clinic or whatnot, minimal difficulty, but states, I know I'll get injured again when I go back to work. So in order for us to get this question right with confidence, we have to know what these, what these flags mean. All right, so A says documented as a red flag. Is that true? What do you think? Well, if you're not familiar with red flags, red flags are, are, are documented when a patient has some type of serious type of symptom that is, is is saying that they potentially have something going on that could create permanent damage or death. We need to do something about this now, whether it's change our plan of action, but in most cases, when it comes down to physical therapy, it's us referring it out, whether that's EMS or that could be to the physician, whatever it is, right? It's something that we need to take care of right now. It's a serious pathology of some sort. The question for you in this situation, are we dealing with a serious pathology underlying issue that's going on that needs some type of emergent or, 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 or we need some like a quick action where we're referring this out to another healthcare provider? Is that true? Yes or no? I would say no. It's not true. We, we, we shouldn't document this as a red flag. Red flags would be something like a oh, patient potentially has a fracture right now that's not taken care of. And we need to refer them to the ER to get that taken care of. Or it could be cauda equina, all right, or saddle anesthesia where the patient has, has loss of sensation or paresthesias in, in that saddle region, in the groin area, all right? Um, there's different types of red flags. You can even say unremitting night pain, unexplained weight loss. Those are all red flags where we would need to refer that patient out to make sure that a serious condition is not present. I'm going to eliminate A. Doesn't make sense. Let's look at B. B says a yellow flag. 
I'm going to tell you right now, for those of you on the podcast, those of you here live with me right now, there's a ton of people who selected this answer right here. So let's go over what a yellow flag is and see if it's the right one. Yellow flags, especially as it relates to a physical therapy, is a patient's beliefs that pain is harmful. All right. And, you know, well, yellow flags can take a lot of different forms. Specifically, their uh, special attention that doesn't require emergency. All right. It's special attention, but it doesn't necessarily require immediate attention. Let me give you an example. It could be a patient's belief that pain is harmful. How many patients have you seen in the in the past where they came into you with some type of injury, right? And and they're they're just so scared, they're fearful, they worry. They have anxiety about the pain that they have. And they believe that if they feel pain, something bad is happening. Like pain itself is harmful. That is what a yellow flag would be. All right? It's it's related to these these unsupportive um, beliefs about pain. And so what do we do for these patients? We tend to educate them about pain and what it means and so forth. So here's the deal. What do I need you to know about a yellow flag? Yellow flag is going to be faulty beliefs that pain is harmful. Pain itself is harmful. Okay. Is that what we're dealing with here? When I look up at this question, for those of you on the podcast, like I'm going to tell you right now, in the question, it just says nothing about pain. It says nothing about how Stanley has had pain and feels like you know the pain is going to get necessarily worse with work or anything. It doesn't say anything about pain. It says, I know I'll get injured again when I go back to work. That's not necessarily a faulty belief about pain. Yellow flags are going to be a, a faulty beliefs about how pain is harmful. And so this patient may say, oh, well, when I go back to work, I'm going to be in a lot of pain, meaning that they're looking at pain as being the harmful part. Anything that creates pain is harmful, not necessarily the work itself. So in this question, we have a patient who presents to us with a muscle strain after this lifting incident at the office, the patient is able to perform all exercise with mental difficulty, but states, I know I'll get injured again when I go back to work. Is that a faulty belief about pain? The answer to that is no, no. Nowhere in the question does it say the patient is even in pain. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is X out B for now. All right. I know a lot of people selected this answer and I've, I, I see why you did because you're thinking that yellow flags are about beliefs and you are 100% right. But it's the belief that pain is harmful. That's very, very, very important that you put that down. All right. Put that down in your notes. We're not done yet. Hold on a minute. Maybe B is the right answer. Hold on. We got to go through all of them. Let's look at C. C says documented as a blue flag. Well, what are blue flags? Blue flags are going to be the perception of the relationship between work and health. It has a lot to do with the patient's work setting is a blue flag. Can I give you some examples of that? That's like the patient saying to you that their, their, their co-workers, their supervisor is so unsupportive. All right. It's not going to allow them um, to... to be able to return back to work without a lot of extra strenuous stuff going on. Like the, the, the work environment is strenuous for the patient and the supervisor is unsupportive or the work environment is unsupportive, right? So that would be more in line with what is known as a blue flag. Let me give you another example. A patient that believes, hold on a minute, a patient that believes that work is so strenuous that it's likely to end up in another injury or further injury. Let me say that again. The belief that work is so strenuous that it's likely to lead to another injury or just further injury. Is that what I'm seeing here? Can I go back for a second? So we got Stanley at 
the office, right? He's got a muscle strain. He's coming to you for therapy now because of that muscle strain. He's exercising with you. Everything is seeming pretty good. Minimal difficulty with that. But he states to you, I know I'll get injured again when I go back to work. That is a belief that work is so strenuous that the patient is likely to get injured again. <laughs> that is a blue flag all day long. That's in the de that's the definition of a blue flag right there, all right? And so I'm going to go ahead and put a check mark next to that one. It, it, it just fits better than a yellow flag. But let's look at D. D says an orange flag. And I'm going to jump straight to the point here. Orange flags are psychiatric-based symptoms or psychiatric findings like clinical depression, some type of personality disorder, some type of psychiatric-based symptom that you may find. All right? And so that would be an orange flag. Does this patient have any psychiatric-based symptoms that you can pull from this question? Absolutely not. I get rid of D, leaving us with our final answer of, you know who, C. C is in cat. It should be documented as a blue flag, baby, a blue flag. Congratulations to those of you who got this one correct. If you're on the podcast right now, this one was tough. I get you. Some of y'all are going to write me right now and be like, Coach, I don't know about that. I don't know. I get messages all the time. Listen, <laughs> listen, Coach K don't make this stuff up, baby. I get it straight out in the book. So if you write me, I'm going to refer you right to McGee. So you can check McGee out in the nice little chart. It'll break it down for you. All right, but I never want to leave you with that. For those of you on the podcast right now, if you want your free cheat sheet to help break down red, yellow, blue, orange flags, I got that for you. Go into the show notes, click the link in there and get it. Always remember, Coach K is super, super proud of all your hard work that you're putting in to dominate this MPTE. I'll catch you later.